Steve Reeves was a Silver Arrow bodybuilder with arguably the best aesthetics of anyone who has ever entered into the Iron Game. He's written two books, and I based my workout on his Mr. America and Universe training program found in Chapter 5 of his book, Dynamic Muscle Building. It's a full body workout designed to be done three times a week with 22 exercises and over 56 sets. As you can imagine, this is a long workout. Steve said it shouldn't take more than two and a half hours, but it takes me three. There are things I like about this program. One of them was beginning the session with shoulders. I've never started a workout this way. Usually it's back or legs as they're my weakest muscle groups. My thought was because we use delts from performing chest and back exercises, having them first would negatively affect those lifts. But this didn't seem to be the case at all. Before we get into delts, we have to warm up. Steve would do dumbbell swings as a warm up. I did 20 repetitions with a light weight. He started his workout with upright rows for the lateral and front delts. I did this initially, but switched this exercise as my traps would get tight and knotted up. They weren't recovering fast enough. I changed it to a 45 degree elbow out row, which works for lateral and rear delts, so not a perfect substitution. My traps were still pretty tight, so I'd hit them with my massage gun every morning and then again before I worked out or in the evening. And this was enough to keep me going. Next up was the behind the neck press. I used dumbbells so I couldn't go behind the neck. And finally, side lateral raises. I bent over when doing these for more rear delt work as this is the weakest part of my shoulder. Every set is to failure or the last rep you can do with good form and a full range of motion, keeping within 8 to 12 reps. I didn't like changing the weight all the time and I was trying to keep the rest as short as possible so I increased the rep range to between 6 and 15, picking a weight that had me fail on my first set between 12 and 15 repetitions. On each subsequent set, I was doing fewer repetitions. Next was chest, as Steve likes to work his muscle groups from the top down. As with most body parts, he did three sets of three different exercises, totaling nine sets per workout and 27 per body part per week. The way he did incline presses and flies was a bit different. For presses, he'd turn his arms as he pressed the weight up so his hands were facing each other at the top. With flies, he'd offset the weight so that there was more weight on the pinky side and have the thumb side right tight to the plate. And instead of having your palms face each other, you'd have your thumbs toward each other creating a little more resistance to gravity as you did the fly. When it comes to training lats, I really like doing behind the neck lat pull downs and then seated low cable rows. This combination gave me a crazy lat pump. I could feel my triceps when doing rows, especially at the end of the movement when my elbows were moving past my sides and behind me. Steve Reeves did behind the neck pull ups, but I couldn't do them comfortably. I'll definitely be trying the cable rows after pull ups once I go back to my regular program. The last exercise for lats was a bent over one arm dumbbell row done in the standing position. For the biceps, he only did three sets of one exercise, and that was incline dumbbell curls. He would supinate the dumbbells with the weight offset, this time having it offset to the thumb side with the weight plate tight to the palm side of the hand, making for an extreme contraction in the top position. He went back to three sets of three different exercises for triceps. I never got into the cross body tricep extension he did for his third exercise and would have rather done a movement that worked the triceps in the stretch position like an incline tricep extension or even a behind the neck dumbbell press. Because my biceps are a weaker muscle group than my triceps, I'd prefer to do one less exercise for the triceps and add an exercise to biceps. For legs, he'd start with what he called a half squat, with you going down to your quads or parallel with the floor. Not what we think of when somebody says half squat. I did suitcase squats with lifting straps on my second and third sets as my grip strength started to fade. Next, he'd do hack squats where he'd have the weight behind his back. He had a belt rigged up to help him hold the weight. I did heel elevated suitcase squats instead. Next was a front squat. For these, I did a goblet squat. I didn't go to failure on all the leg exercises. I used my level up method where I'd gradually increase the number of repetitions I was doing on each set with the goal of doing the same number of repetitions on all sets and hitting technical failure on my last set. I did this in part because my low back was getting tired and was the weak link. For hamstrings, he did three sets of hamstring curls. He'd talk about doing this against the resistance of another guy holding your legs, 
but I used my cable machine. Steve Reeves was known for having great calves, and because of this, he only did one exercise for them. He didn't specify which variation he did, so I chose standing calf raises. After this, he did one set of sit-ups for abs and one set of hyperextensions. I did incline crunches for my abs, and I'll be honest, I often skipped hyperextensions as my low back would already be tired out by this point. It was fun trying these different exercises and attempting to move through the workout at the pace Steve would have done it. Beyond that, for me, it was too much volume. A guy could take it and make it an upper lower body workout, with each one being done twice a week, totaling four workouts a week. Most body parts would still get 18 sets of work, the leg workout would be shorter, and you wouldn't be going into it with your back pre-exhausted, so I'd add Romanian deadlifts for a bit more posterior chain work. That's my thoughts and observations, but to discover how Steve Reeves' workout measures up to modern day research, watch this video next, and keep working out while having fun. This is Lawrence from Fit and 50. We'll talk to you again in the next one.